playing men's field at the time of 2 12 09. Her teammate in Flagstaff puts in Zenislavski. Kellen, let's start with you. We you got a lot of TV time today. Uh, you were up front for a big portion of the race. Did you want to take? Did you want to take the lead? Were you up there hoping somebody would take over control of that race? You know, it was a super weird race. I think you guys could all kind of see that. Um, you know, that New York kind of traditionally starts off a little bit slow, um, and then it really kind of picks up a lot in the second half. But this year, it just seemed to kind of play. And I just found myself as a friend quite a bit, and then started to fall back a little bit because it seemed like we were just kind of playing a game. I was like, I can play games, we can do this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I found myself in front, and then it was kind of just trying to key off of the the big players, you know, the ones that I knew were going to be making, making the moves later on in the race, and, you know, they were the ones that did, and um, unfortunately I wasn't able to hang with them in that last 10K, but, you know, put myself in it. First race back for you since having a, having a child, I mean, how was the experience, and it, it was it to meet your expectations? I mean, New York always with my expectations, um, it's a fantastic course, fantastic race, um, and then, yeah, to be able to come back here and have to be my first postpartum marathon, um, and to be top American, which I haven't been in my three other appearances, is kind of special. Um, you know, I always want more, but I think that it's a good start, and there's only going up from here. But so we saw you come across the line and, and, and collapse. Obviously, you put it all out there today. Talk us through those last couple miles for you. Um, yeah, from 35 to the finish, um, it's probably you know, some of the hardest mile I ran in this course. So uh, I'm just very, very happy I was able to uh, stay strong and uh, to be able to finish the race. You guys are teammates in Flagstaff, Arizona. You're both up here at Top Americans. What does that say about your training group? We're awesome. Um, it just says a lot about what we have going and uh, the culture of the team and, and how we fit from each other and uh, you know we gotta give a shout out to you know <laughs> Jenna who has been you know the last uh, four or five months of the training so uh, just very grateful for her and uh, for what we, what we have going on in other <laughs> North America so yeah. I want to open up the floor for questions for the top American finishers today we do have like on either side of the room, so just uh, raise your hand and we'll send one your way. Uh, Doug Farnberg from the Associated Press. Kelly, could you just talk about how weird that race was I and mean, going through your mind and what you thought this race would be like today? Did you think it would be as tactical as it was? The, I mean, the time was, was at the slowest in about 13 years. So were you thinking any of your thoughts, hey, this is what the race is going to be unfold like today? That's what I thought for like the first 20 miles. I was wondering what the heck I was doing. Um, it was super weird. It was probably one of the weirdest races that I've ever ran, um, especially with the caliber of talent that was in the field. You know, it talks of like breaking the course record and doing all the things. And then, you know, after a bit, it was like, well, that's definitely not going to happen because we're running a six minute pace um, for no, no good reason other than just do it. Um, but, you know, sometimes that's how races play out. And
forces today set you up for the Olympic trials in just a few months? Yeah, for me, uh, you know, when uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, this the training block for this, for this race, uh, when, I, when I sat down and talked with my agents and uh, my coaches was that you know, to get another marathon, uh, to really have an experience of actually racing uh, with, with the field, and that's what you know, New York provided. And uh, you know, looking at the, at the field, I knew there was going to be a group of guys that I, I can, I can you know, compete and be able to race with, and that's what I actually did. Uh, for the first 35k till you know uh, till it actually became you know uh, just an all out racing for me uh, from there so I think what I'm getting is uh, you know uh, to be able to uh, this wasn't this wasn't a marathon where you actually run a certain pace I mean there was you know you know running up those bridges and uh, and pace change uh, all those things I mean there's no pace there's uh, at one point uh, I was with three other guys and we were actually talking about you know, working together, you know, earlier in the race where one leads per, one, one person leads for a K, the other one leads, uh, so, and I think, I couldn't see what, that's what the trial's going to be like, and, uh, uh, till, you know, till the, uh, toward the end of the race where everyone's, you know, they run for their, for their own self. For me, it was kind of just about getting, um, some marathon, marathon work under my belt, for the first time in a couple of years, and then after having my child, um, before going into the trial segment. I didn't want to go into the trial segment, you know, not having done this for two and a half years, and have my body kind of feel like it feels now, um, pretty beat up. So for me, it was just getting that base stimuli in, and being able to use the strength that we took from this segment and carry it on over into the trial segment. Jonathan Hall here from Let's Run.com. Question for Kellen. Do you think the way the race played out benefited you or hurt you with it being so slow up front? Um, I think that's hard to say, right? Um, the field was super talented, so I would like to say that it kind of hurt me. Um, but we'll never know. Uh, I think that, like I had said in my interview with you guys before, I think that I could run 223 on this course and you know, I think there's other women could run much faster than 223, but I think that maybe I would have had a little bit more fair of a shot doing something a little bit more special than eighth place if it had went out a little more honestly. Any other questions from the top American finishers in today's race? Hudson Zenasalasi, Kellen Taylor, top Americans in the 2023 TCS Finish Center.